Welcome to another episode of the Get Momentum podcast for online entrepreneurs with your host, myself, Penny Elliott. This is the show where we match the woo with the do. So it's the perfect mix of mindset and strategy to have fast success in your online business so you can finally live your best life. And today I have amazing Joyce Glass with me. So welcome. Tell us what you do, who you serve and how you help the wonderful world out there. Well, thank you, Penny, for having me. I am, like you said, Joyce Glass, and I'm the right coach. I, and that's a W-R-I-T-E coach. So I help <laughs> personal development leaders write their books and get them out in the world. And I ghostwrite as well. So I'm, I'm getting actually a little more into ghostwriting, expanding my team with that. And so that's been really fun doing that. But I, I love to help people get their message out there so they can make an impact and leave a legacy because a lot of people are they don't realize it sometimes but that that book i mean think about the books that have been around for eons you know napoleon hill and um i can't think of another one off the top of my head at the moment but there's um think and grow rich yeah um, it was just that well that is napoleon hill but um what and rich dad poor dad has been around for a while and all of those books that have been around because they are timeless. Their messages are timeless. And, you know, not everybody has a timeless message, but a lot of people have a message or a story that they want to share. And I love to help people craft their stories, make it interesting and powerful for people to read and digest and be able to take it in. And, you know, a book, I don't know about you, Penny, but I, I posted a meme this week. Um, books are like my friends, you know, I hate to part with them. And yeah. um, the, the little meme this week was, um, was this woman, she's opens up her wallet. She's like, I don't have any money. And then the next image is her holding a bag and it says books and she's got a stack of books she's holding and she's walking out of a store. <laughs> you know? We, we always find money for things we really want. And for those of us that have book addictions like me and many others, um, you know, that's a fun thing. And so there's, you want more to read. And so yeah. I love to help people um, in that capacity to um, expand their business as well. Because a lot of people that I help are either you know, coaches, entrepreneurs, um, something of that sort, and it helps expand their business. Yeah. So I guess like what we always talk about is consistent clients on this um, podcast. And I definitely wrote a book um, to help with that consistent clients because it's a really good mm -hmm. entry point for people to get a taster of what you're all about before they invest the larger amounts with you to to work further um and so i guess i don't know you could probably talk to this like is having a book a really good way of being able to have those consistent clients coming into your business it is because it, it does a couple of things it gives you credibility Mm -hmm. and you know an instant credibility mm -hmm. and because I mean that everybody knows it's a lot of effort to write a book and so you get the credibility but then like you said they get to take you home and really get mm -hmm. to know you a little better and then it, a lot of people they love reading it but they struggle with implementing and so yeah. that's where they'll call you and say hey I love this I understand sort of what you're saying but I'm really struggling with this. I don't know how to do it. Can you work with me? How can you work with me? And that's what you're looking for. You want those people who want to work with you and who seek you out so that you're not always in the constant trying to find people, you know, on the online world. That gets exhausting. And so when they start finding you, that's really fun. And I've, I've actually had that happen the past couple of weeks. It's funny. I'm in the Christian Writers Market Guide, and I did not know I was because my podcast is listed in there. But I know the guy who creates that, and he he put it in there, and I had no idea because that's how one lady found me, and then another lady found me this week. She said, "Oh, I saw your Facebook page, and it looked really interesting, and I liked what you did, and I saw what some people said about you." And I'm like, "Oh, cool, okay." So, you know, Facebook pages are important, by the way. That's your business card online, you know. So. Yeah, I love um, that people are actually seeking me out because those are two people just in the past two weeks that I had no idea where they came from. Amazing. And 
Yeah, and I and I've had people find just find my search site by searching for a writing coach in their area. And mm -hmm. I'm like, well, that's good to know too, because that means my SEO is working. And so uh, you know, it, it, done is better than perfect. My site is not it's not hideous, but it's not perfect by any means. And I always take into account, you know, Amy Porterfield's website was hideous for years. I don't know if you ever saw it. <laughs> It, yeah, if you go back to the had, way back way back time machine or whatever it's called, you can see what it yeah, was like. Well, yeah, it was like it was just two or three years ago she's updated it, mm. and I mean she was making millions before she updated it, and I'm like, hey, so that proves my the point. You know, done is better than perfect. Mm. Let, give people a way to find you and connect with you, and and books are a great way to do that. Podcasts are a great way to do that. And so, you know, you want to just make sure that you are um, doing that. You're, you're giving people a little bit of you so that they can connect with you. And what about on the days where um, you just don't feel like giving a bit of you or you've had a bit of a setback in your, um, in your business? What have you, like, how do you really, like, how does Joyce really dig deep to get that momentum back in her business? Well, I have learned that if I have a down day, like it's emotionally, or, you know, I was really hoping a client would say yes, and they said, no, not right now, or I can't afford it or whatever. And I was really counting on that. And it kind of, you know, puts that downward spiral feeling of, oh no, I'm not good enough, or I didn't say something right or whatever may be the case. And usually I'll allow myself a little pity party for a little bit. And then I'll listen to things and read things. And maybe I'm, I may not be on social media as much that day because I know my frame of mind is not good. And so mm -hmm. unless, there's, you know, unless I find something that perks me up and like, ooh, that I could comment on. Because I love, I'm a helper. I get in, I'm in a lot of different groups and I love to help people with, you know, whatever they may be working on. Like, you know, hey, what's the best app for this? Because I love apps. And I'm always, you know, oh, you can use this app for that and that app for that, you know. So I, I'll go out there and that makes me feel good that I'm helping somebody and, and doing that kind of thing. But the other big thing that I do um, is I am a Christian and I love to just sit on my back porch and spend time with God and pray, read, whatever, you know, listen to music. And it helps just calm my spirit down because I know that just because one thing didn't go right doesn't mean that my whole business is a failure. You know, amazing. That is amazing. You know, I'm going to stop you right there because just because one thing didn't go right and doesn't mean my whole business is a failure and people need to hear that because things, I mean, you know, if you think about parenting or relationships or all sorts of stuff, things go wrong all the time and it doesn't mean that like you're a terrible parent and so you just stop, <laughs> you know, where a right. lot of people, if something goes wrong in their business, they think, oh, that's it and pack, close it, close up and move on to something else, you know? So that's a really important point that you gave there. Thank you. Like it is. And, and I, and I think about all the people that I am helping and that I, that have said, you know, what you're doing is so different than everybody else because they're not doing X, Y, Z. They're not yeah. giving the whole picture or they're just helping us with this part, but you're helping us with all the parts. And that, you know, those kind of things really I feed on because I am a words of affirmation girl. I love to hear words of affirmation and I love it when I'm helping people too. That jazzes me up really big time. I'm like, you know, I get off a group call. We've had a good going back and forth and helping people with things. And I'm excited. That's, I'm the kind of person, you know, some people that is draining to them. And for me, that's exciting. I love being able to help my clients, whether they're in my club or my boot camp, whichever one, or their private clients. And, you know, I, I keep, that's the thing that you got to keep in mind. And, you know, we're in Katia's group and she talks about the brag book. And I love that idea of, keeping, you know, testimonials that people say, or if somebody sends you a, a, a text or an email saying, you know, this really helped me, or I appreciate this, you know, to keep it, save it somewhere. So on those yeah. days when you're feeling kind of crappy or things aren't going right, and you're just, you're thinking, should I just shelve this and go get a job? Then look at it, you know, because 
I, I, you know, there have been a lot of days like that. And, and my husband's more of the practical minded guy, you know, he's just like, well, if it doesn't work, you just need to go get a job. And I'm like, wow, that's not very supportive. <laughs> No, but he's like, well, I'm not trying to be mean. It's just, this is the practical point of it. And I'm like, I understand where you're coming from, but I've worked too hard and I know I'm too close to the verge of this tipping point of making it really great. And, you know, you've got to know, you've got to know where that tipping point is for you. And when you get to that tipping point, then you know that, hey, I'm doing a good thing and I can make this. And it, you know, being an entrepreneur, as you know, is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. (laughs) Yeah. So I guess you talked about like helping people um, at the beginning. You, um, we started this by saying that you like to help people create their legacy um, through writing a book. So I always ask people what trying to, what um, legacy are you wanting to create and leave in this online space? That's an excellent question. I, I, I guess my legacy would be that, you know, everybody can learn the skills of a writer. Mm-hmm. It, there, you know, somebody uh, may have heard or a lot of people have this belief that writers are born. No, writers are not born, just like athletes aren't born and, um, you know, doctors aren't born. They, everybody has to go through some kind of training. And you have to take it serious. And getting a coach is a great way to help you because athletes have coaches. They watch what they do. They learn and repeat and learn and repeat the process. And it's just like with any skill that you have, the more you do it, the better you'll do it, the better it will be. And the more you learn how to do it better, the better you'll write and the easier it'll be. And it becomes even more fun because you, then once you learn some of the basics, then it becomes fun because then it's like almost like this puzzle you're trying to put together. Okay, if I put this here and put that there and this does this, or if you're doing a novel, this character does this and this plot line goes here and ooh, what if this happens here? You know, then it gets exciting because you're doing what you love and yeah. what you, you know, you were born to do. Because I hear that a lot from people. It's like, this book is gnawing at me. They've never thought they were authors. And they're like, but I know this story needs to be told or this content needs to get out because it's just gnawing at me. And I, I hear that a lot. And it's because you have a message you need to share. And I have felt that way. I, you know, 10 years ago when I started writing, that was part of why I started writing was because I had this burning passion to help Christians and I really wanted to be a light for them and I feel like so many people are just living half a life that they don't have to live and that they're just going through the motions and that's not how we're built we're not built to just go through the motions we have callings and things that you know we are meant to do and when you find what you're meant to do it is powerful and it's just like this pull for me that's constantly I know when you know somebody says oh well what about doing this or what about doing that as far as you know other business ideas or a way to bring in revenue and I know you know I can tell if it resonates with my spirit or not "Mm, no that's a good idea and it's a good thing but it's not the thing for me because this is what I've been called to do is to help people and to do my own writing and if if those things don't line up then I know hey, I, that's not where I'm supposed to be. And it just, yeah. it makes it easier too, because you're, you're, you have, I have clarity, you know, I don't have to constantly, well, should I do that? Or should I do this? You know, because yeah. I, I have clarity, and I know the path yeah. that I'm supposed to take. Awesome. Well, that's so, so I guess um, the next thing is like, how can people get in touch with you? And have you got something that they could, um, download from you um that they can start their writing journey yes well i've got a couple of things coming up that are going to be fun but the best way to find me is at the right w-i-t-e coach dot biz that's my mm-hmm. site and mm-hmm. there is a download there the four steps to the right book to help you get the book get the book out of your head yeah but i do have national authors day is coming up on november 1st mm-hmm. and we are going 
do a giveaway that day of one of our mini courses. It's the five fiction techniques every nonfiction writer needs to use. And Amazing. It's a great, yeah, it's a great way. A lot of people don't think about it, and I didn't really realize it until I started to learn how to write a novel, mm -hmm. how much my, my fiction writing became much better because I started using those elements from novel writing in my nonfiction. Because when you're, you're telling a story, whether it's in nonfiction or fiction, you need the same elements. Yeah. And so that really helped. So I created a little mini course, and for the National Author Day on November 1st, we're going to give it away. So amazing. All right. Well, we'll, yeah. yeah. We'll put the, so um, if you're on my link. list, yeah. yeah if you're way. on my list, I'll give it away. Or if you want to, um, or look out on, we'll be all over social media that day giving it away. So great. All right. Well, we'll pop the links into the notes so that we can, um, so that people can come across to your website and get in touch with you and be able to get that mini course as well. So I guess the last soundbite is what is your favorite one liner you give yourself to get momentum in your business daily? My favorite one liner. Oh my. You're asked a hard question. <laughs> Everyone gets stumped. Um, do what? Everyone gets stumped on it. Go for it. Yeah, but, well, I guess, you know, my favorite thing is, um, I mean, from a spiritual standpoint, I always do the, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's a verse. Um, but for, from a business standpoint, uh, you know, I'm always, I don't necessarily have a, a line that I say, but I'm always like, you know, I really look forward to help people today. And amazing. when That's I look amazing. at my, I look at that, when I look at my business from that perspective, it takes that pressure off of the financial side and the, to being on social media and, you know, all the things that go into running a business and it gets me clear on really why I'm doing what I'm doing. And when you have that why, you know this, when you have the why, it's much more fun and it's much easier to do than if you're just, oh, I'm doing this to make some money or I'm doing this because somebody told me I could be good at it. And, you know, because I'm yeah. good at a lot of things too. Like I can do web design, but I don't, you don't want to hire me because that's not my passion. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, amazing. I can do thank it. you. We have yeah. to um we have to wrap it up, but I mean we could keep talking forever and ever and ever, but oh, yeah. we have to wrap it up because um other, everyone's listening and they're having a great time and um time is precious. And um so I really want to make sure that you guys get the takeaways from this. So definitely like you are such a woman that loves to help. That's so obvious. It shines right through. So if you guys have um, got any nuggets from this great interview, then make sure that you um, share it what far and wide on socials and give back because I'm sure Joyce will be able to jump onto it and, uh, and be able to help you as well. You sound like you love to help people. So pop her an email, send her some questions. We'll put all of the stuff in the show notes. But don't forget that um, everyone has a book inside them. And so you can use those four steps that she's going to give away to get that book out and become an authority in your business. So thank you so much for joining us today, Joyce. Um, it was really um, empowering. And we will um, see you on the next episode. Thanks. Sounds great. Thanks.